Welcome to a short introduction on the SGV Chelvaniacum Falk held at the University of Toronto Scarborough Library, Archives and Special Collections. This video will speak about the organization of the archive, as well as how to search for archival material on Discover Archives. Discover Archives is the name of the University of Toronto's shared portal for exploring archival holdings. Archives are organized into finding aids, which are guides that consist of contextual and structural information about an archival resource. They aid researchers in finding material. The Chalvaniacum finding aid is located here, or use the links provided below. A fall is defined as the entire body of records of an organization, family, or individual that have been created and accumulated as the result of an organic process reflecting the functions of the creator. While highlighting the fall or archive level, scroll down to read the basic information about the archive, such as the dates of the material, a biographical history, and the scope and content covered in the archive. The scope and content note is important in all hierarchical levels. It is a narrative statement summarizing the characteristics of the described materials, the functions and activities that produce them, and the types of information contained therein. In this case, it describes the scope and content of the full level. To open larger sections, click the Read More button here. The System of Arrangement section notes how the material is organized. This section shows the original language of the material. Archives are each organized according to a unique filing system. Similar records are grouped together as a result of being created, received, or used in the same activity. Archives are also organized in a hierarchical manner from the general to the specific. The Chavaniacum Fall is organized into three series seen here. Expanding the series will show the more specific subseries. Clicking on a particular subseries will reveal the files contained within that topic. Each file refers to a folder of documents that could contain any number of pages. Scroll down at any level to read the contextual information such as the date of the material, a detailed description of the contents in the scope and content note, and the languages present in the material. To read this same information presented in a PDF format, download the finding aid from the button here. The finding aid is bilingual in English and Tamil. To read the Discover Archives website in Tamil, scroll to the top and click the Languages button, then click Tamil. The same information is presented in Tamil. Let's do a sample keyword search. The quick search box will search only the Chelvaniacum font and not all other archives. Let's search for the word teachers. Many files with the word teachers have been found. You can click on one of these files to read more, or you can scroll to the bottom and click browse all descriptions to view the search results in a different format. There were 49 results found. There are additional sorting features here and additional search limits on the left. We can further narrow our search results by clicking on Advanced Search Options. Here is an example of filtering by date range. Some of the material in the subseries Professional Files has been digitized. All of the files marked with a plus have been digitized. Expanding this section will show all of the individual items or pages found in this file.
There are two ways to search for a particular file that has been digitized. First, search for the file number listed in the title. In this case, file 9-2. This will find all of the letters and items within this file. Copying and pasting the exact title of the file within quotation marks will also find those same items within a file. Scroll down to read the archival information about the item. You can also browse within the digitized collection and use the search limiting options on the side. For any questions or to book an appointment to visit the archives, navigate to the home page of the UTSC Discover Archives. The contact address for the archivist is listed here or click on the email button.